it actually does bother me too that for these numbers they kind of did away with uh, the Roman numerals and just started calling stuff X7. That is kind of, yeah. It's weird. In I think this next one's X8 too. Yes, it is. But at least this one doesn't uh, doesn't have that goofy looking height thing. <laughs> You people turned on me. I'm the reason all you people are here. Hulkamania has resumed running wild on you, apparently. Yes. Now, this is after the fall of WCW, right? Yes, and he's still NWO. Oh, were they still doing that back in, in WWE when they returned to WWF? Oh, yeah. NWO was a thing, like, during the invasion. Oh, yeah, the invasion. Okay. Where they, like, they that, was sort of, that was sort of like how they introduced like all the people they brought over from the ruins of WCW. From WCW, yeah. Okay. Now, were they still World Wrestling Federation at this point? Um, yeah. Because you can see they're still blurring the still, thing on the uh, microphone. Still got those dick microphones, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Same. It says uh, they they have the advertisement for the website, and it's just blur.com. <laughs> Even their web address is too filthy to show. So we have two uh, matches for WrestleMania 18. Mm hmm. So the NWO started a feud with the WWF roster after conquering The Undertaker at No Way Out in 2002. Okay. Uh, the, Raw, the following night on Raw, Raw, The Rock interrupted Hogan and issued a challenge uh, suggesting a showdown at WrestleMania. Okay. Uh, NWO would have the last word by having Scott Hall and Kevin Nash ambushing The Rock and delivering a beatdown on the Brahma Bowl. Oh yeah, they were calling him that at one point. I forgot. Yeah, I Doesn't know. Doesn't he have a tattoo of that? Yeah, he does. Okay. It's funny which names stick and which ones don't. Yeah, it is. I don't know why it's black and white. It's evoking that classic era of Hollywood Hogan, you know? Oh, yeah. Back when Hollywood Hogan was... Back, back before the talkies. Yeah. <laughs> the immortal Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Literally immortal. He's old, but not as old as Ric Flair. No. Well, Ric Flair is like a Highlander, so... <laughs> Someday, Ric Flair is going to, like, <coughs> someday Ric Flair will, like, behead Hulk Hogan and all these, all this electricity will f go arcing out into Flair and he'll gain supreme cosmic power. <laughs> he'll, he'll look young again. <laughs> <laughs> Hogan had the ener youth energy, he just wasn't using it right. And then there'll be a really horrible sequel where Ric Flair builds a shield around the Earth to protect to, to replace the ozone layer and then it turns out he's actually an alien he's lost his memory and then we just try to pretend that one didn't happen <laughs> I never got the boa I really didn't I don't like I don't, I don't know what that adds to him meanwhile from this century How old would Hogan have been at this point? What's that? How old would Hogan have been at this point? <sighs> Isn't he like 60 now? He'd be like 50, I guess, because this was a little more than 10 years ago. Yeah, Hogan's about 50, 60 now. Mm. This would be like, what, 2002? Yeah. It 
see, okay, so I get the placement of those big, t like, big flat screens on the sides. What, like, f for the purpose of the entrance. Mm -hmm. But what I don't get is why they would be there for the crowd. Because who would be watching, like, when they can look down the ring and see what's happening and just be like, oh, I'm going to look up there instead. <laughs> I'm... I... <laughs> I, I I prefer I just prefer my wrestling action in electronic form, even at the live event. Like I don't understand why would you do that. Like if you if you paid for the cheap seats, I guess I can understand if you're like, yeah, this fucking sucks. But oh god damn it. Now who are you playing? I am the Rock. What are your objectives? Uh, first, I have to put him in the sharpshooter. And so, uh, while it's been a while since we've seen uh, Hogan, uh, this was more of his uh, kind of heel appearance. Right, we, Hollywood uh, Hogan. Yeah. A lot of people uh, who don't know a whole lot about wrestling uh, know just of, like, Hulk, Hulk Hogan being a hero, and it's kind of funny. He was, a heel for actually... he was a heel for most of his time at WCW, wasn't he? Yeah. The and whole, he, and know, he was actually a heel like very early in his career, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's how a lot of the real big faces get started. Just by being uh, really great heels. I don't know how Hogan was. I didn't see back then. As it, Oh, shit. Well, he's hulking up. Air guitar in that game? Oh, no, no, he's just shaking his fists. He's hulking up. You know, he, how he does that. I can counter it luckily. <laughs> I can grab his head and do it, deliver an actual punch. Man. Someone has, back there has a sign that just says, You suck. Yeah. I, I, oh, did Hogan just clothesline the ref? Yeah, he did. Considering the colors, I'm wondering if it's like, um, like a heel reaction to um, Hogan. Good lord. Oh, he's doing it again. Yeah. Nobody can say that uh, Hogan has a ton of variety. Alright, now I'm going to put him in the sharpshooter. But yeah, um... Yeah, him coming back to the WWE as Hollywood Hulk Hogan was actually pretty cool. Mostly because uh, a lot of people hadn't had hadn't seen Hogan as a heel in a long time. Right. I guess it kept uh, his character kind of fresh because you know prayers, vitamins, and uh, training. training every day. Three commandments. Kind of <laughs> three commandments. D no, demand. Kind of. Which, which is I've that? always I've always loved that word. Demandments. Demandments. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a kind of stale. Yeah, uh, that wouldn't really fly, you know, post attitude era. Yeah, but it was good, and I mean, ho uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan gave us uh, the f infamous Yapify strap. Oh, uh, was that was that in WWF or WWE or WCW? Um. Well, it doesn't we're... matter. It's eternal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter now. It, it transcends boundaries of organization. <laughs> well, now there's only one organization, so... Uh, I'm hitting oh. them with the people's elbow. Oh, people's elbow. Right. How come Rockets yeah. to have two finishing moves, by the way? Um, I don't know. Well, I guess he has three if you count the spine buster. And I'm, I'm just going to put the rock bottom on him. A lot of them... Uh, a lot of people usually have one or two finishers. One submission finisher and then one, uh... One move that's considered their finisher. No, that was, a, that was fairly simple. Mm -hmm. Now, was any sort of title on the line for that, or...? Uh, no. It was just a rivalry match. I think this might be Hogan's 
face turn? I, like, I couldn't tell you for sure. Because I wasn't really familiar with what he was doing <laughs> at the time. Do you know if Hogan's still doing creepy stuff with his daughter? I don't know, really. I don't... I'm not that well-versed in his various doings and transpirings and... and 